Uh, it's, it's been a long old season um, on and off the field and I'm just really pleased now that we're here we've, uh, we've, we've, we've weathered this storm and we've got here and hopefully we send the big father out the way he deserves to go out I was going to say does it feel like an end of an era absolutely absolutely does uh, you know when we when we kind of found out about the news earlier in the year we we mapped a way to get us to this point um, we had a number of emotional triggers to, to press along the way with 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 Sean and Mark leaving and Matty and Sam and Batty um, and Ryan Sutton. So we, we, we've known all along that it's it's a bit of a changing guard um, and we wanted to send them out in the way that they deserve to, to be sent out. But, you know, it's it, it's it's a big week for us all. I hope they get the end in the, the deserve and then it's, it's, it's my job to try and rebuild all this and uh, evolve and change an identity and, and we go again next year with under a new coach. How much is it credit to the squad and Sean that, you know, the wheels could have... I suppose fallen off with all the stuff that was going on off the field. I mean, it's credit to them they've got this far, stayed on track, and it's still here. Yeah, look, we're a, we're a very tight bunch of people. You know, we we we're good friends. We socialise together off the field. We uh, we care for each other. Um, so we we've spent a lot of time in the, in the weeks uh, after the news, just figuring out how we could get here. And to be fair, it, it's gone absolutely absolutely as we planned. Um, Every session, uh, every theme in every week, uh, throughout the Super 8, and taking us up to Friday, where we, or last Friday, where we made a real emotional plea for Sean. You know, we spent a, a real great morning at, at our training facility, reliving some of the memories. And uh, I honestly didn't believe that we were losing against Castleford. We had, it was just too much riding on it. Um, and this week, you know, I, 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 I went out of pint with Sean on, on Friday night. Um, we just made a, a promise to each other to try and enjoy this week. Um, you know, the last time we'll do this together, so enjoy it. Enjoy days like this. Enjoy each other's company, and try and get the prize at the end of it. How much were you missing personally? Yeah, I'll miss him. I'll miss him. You know, it's uh, you know, over the last couple of weeks. I've just been gathering photographs and videos and, and personal stuff that we've done together for, for some of the some of the videos that we've shown up at Oral and. Uh, you realise what an incredible journey it's been. Um, the last decade of probably some of my best memories in in, in rugby league. Uh, you know, a lot of a lot of good times with with people off the field, a lot of success on the field. Um, but I don't think I, I don't think I've seen the back of him. You know, I'll I'll still be getting phone calls at random hours and all that kind of stuff. So it, it's great that we've both played a part in each other's in each other's lives, and that will continue. Have you known a season like this? I mean, we've had, Wigan's had to deal with things off the field before, but it, it had felt, especially through the middle of the season, that there was something new every week that you'd have to deal with. Yeah, um, yeah. this year more than ever, uh, I've had to close my door a few times uh, and just put my head in my hands and think, how's this happened? Uh, I guess it's, it's made me stronger, you know. Uh, still, uh, even at my age now, I'm still learning things, learning to deal with these experiences. Um, but I think as a group, it's it's galvanised us. It's made us strong, um, and it, I'm kind of I get kind of prepared for anything. Uh, you know, I don't get many good phone calls. I get the phone calls where you have to deal with all this stuff. But um, it's been a year of, of emotion. Um, Friday night there'll be a lot of emotion as well. And, you know, come the final whistle, I don't know if I'll cheer, cry, breathe a sigh of relief that it's all over. I'm not sure how I'll feel at the end of it. Um, just look forward to, to getting on that coach, going home, knowing that we've, we've hopefully we've, we've it's been a good end to the season, uh, and then we can enjoy some time with the family. You know, the family have to go through a lot through the year. And um, looking a bit forward to next year. I mean, we, we've already got coaches lined up, and still plenty of holes to be filled in terms of the squad, I suppose, as well. I mean, you've, you've worked to do that already, but you're excited for next season. A bit scared about next season. Uh, what is it? Yeah, not scared. You know, it's it is a new era. You know, things we're going to have to do things differently. You know, if you was Adrian Lamb coming into this 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 team, you'd be looking at it and saying, "I'm not going to change too much here because what you what you what you're doing is working." He'll make some tweaks here, or there. Um, you know, he's a tremendous character, Adrian. He, he's got a real lover of life, so uh, he'll bring a lot of enthusiasm and a lot of energy to the group. But I'm very aware that. Sean will leave a big hole, no doubt about that. You know, he's had an impact on a lot of people's lives. So we, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll look at it. We've, we've had some sessions already with Adrian over Skype and stuff, and he'll get here very early in early November, and we'll get ready to to, to go again next year. Um, you know, it's it's a new era for the game as well, obviously with the with the changing structure and 
Um, this club will keep going, this club will still evolve, this club will still be challenging for honours um, and it's, I guess it's my job to, to guide us on that track, mine and the chairman's job to guide us on that track. Have you ever tried to change his mind? Uh, no, uh, for the simple reason is that I know for sure to have come to that decision. He would have considered it a long time, you know, they, yeah, it was me who he came into the office and, and handed the letter first and that was hard, it was a hard moment. Um, and I, you know what, it probably only hit me the week of, of semi-final week where I thought this actually could be the last week. Uh, but no, it's been, it's been it's, it's in a funny kind of way, it's been, a, it's been a really enjoyable three months because it's galvanised us, we've, we've, we've looked at uh, ways we can make sure it's a perfect ending, so we've, the detail we've gone into on everything has been pretty extreme. Um, just hope it all comes together on Friday night now.